it seems that the Denver Broncos week one opponent has been leaked. I want to bring in this tweet from Benjamin Albright. Your week one puzzle is out there. If you guys remember, on draft night, Benjamin Albright put out a cryptic tweet about five hours before Denver was on the clock where every single letter of the first um, sent in each sentence, the first letter in each sentence in the tweet spelled out its bow. I want to bring in this tweet from Benjamin that he sent out at 3.20 this afternoon. Schedule is normally leaked by now, but I don't have it. Everybody DMing me these fake leaks, I genuinely don't have it. Although we do have the release show tomorrow, plus ticket giveaways on KOA at 6 p.m. Notice the first letter of each one or of each of these sentences. S E A. I think Benjamin Albright just hinted the Denver Broncos are going to Seattle week one once again. And this also is from David Softy Mahler from 93.3 KJR. I'm assuming that's up in Seattle. Um, 9 8 Denver in Seattle week one. Last time Denver traveled to Seattle, it did not go well. That was the Russell Wilson homecoming game. This time around, well, I don't think that there's going to be as much emotion behind the game. There's still going to be that emotion, that rivalry. The Broncos and the Seahawks, of course, old AFC West rivals. That rivalry has only gotten stronger since Super Bowl 48, since the Russell Wilson trade. Again, Russ not being there is going to take some of the luster out of that building, but it's still Seattle. It's still the hardest place to play in the entire NFL. You're going to have to be on your P's and Q's with pre-snap communication. You're going to have to be able to do a really good job handling the silent snap count. All kinds of things are going to be a really, really big challenge for Bo Nix, assuming he starts that week one game. It will also be Bo Nix's return to the Pacific Northwest. This is a different Seattle team than what we're used to from the previous 10 years or so because Pete Carroll is no longer there. But Mike McDonald, their new head coach, is a really, really strong defensive mind. Their defense is going to be tough to deal with right out the gate. And Geno Smith and that offense is no walk in the park either. This Seattle game is going to be really, really tough. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of glad if this leak is true that Denver is going to be getting Seattle out of the way week one. With this report from Dave Mahler as well as Benjamin Albright's cryptic tweet, I think that pretty much solidifies that it's going to be Seattle. I tried to find another tweet out there that maybe indicated something else from Benjamin that might have been the real cryptic tweet. I couldn't find it. So I think we're going to Seattle week one, Broncos country. I thought that there was a good chance we would be playing Pittsburgh Monday Night Football week one. It was later revealed that the week one Monday Night Football game is going to be Jets at 49ers instead. I still think that Steelers at Broncos is going to be on prime time and it's going to be earlier in the year. I think now it might be candidate for a week two, week three Thursday Night Football game. That sounds like something very, very plausible for me for Steelers and Broncos, but as of right now, it looks like Denver is going to be going up to Seattle week one to play the Seahawks. Let me know in the comment section below, Broncos country, how do you guys feel about Denver getting Seattle in Seattle on week one for the second time in three years? Drop those comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways to show your support. Helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out and helps us get seen by more more members of Broncos country just like you and me. And until next time, guys, I'm your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.